what Ian and I always do is we'll each take a show and we each supervise. We don't really co-supervise. We only co-supervised co really a couple shows in the early days of the company. And uh, we co-supervised the X-Files movie as well as Pitch Black. And then from there, it's just the company was structured where we would each take a project. And it just made more sense because it didn't, with, with the two of us on one show, it kind of shut the door on other projects coming through through the company. And also, it was just easier to have one creative lead on it. Uh, we worked very well together, but unfortunately, it's one of those deals where it's like, I, we, as a business decision, we felt it would be better to get more work through the company than to, to do that. So, the Arrivals one, uh, we, Arrival again, that was a, an early David Toohey picture that Ian and I both worked on, and um, another show which was a lot of fun. Um, we just did a couple sequences for it, nothing, nothing too major, big antenna coming out of the ground. Um, Men in Black was, we did the opening credit sequence for that, and then uh, the, the guns were sort of, that was like an old kind of holdover to my earlier days in prop work. And when I worked on that, there was a, a gentleman by the name of Doug Harlocker, who was the um, uh, prop master on the show, and a really great guy. And I had worked with him in the early days of just working out of a garage. And so when we had the bigger company, he'd come to me and say, well, can we make these guns? Can we do this stuff? And I sort of like, I got this company now. It's kind of hard to just, but that was a show where I was very much hands-on building the guns. And the guns for that show were, um, we did a lot of the, the, the sort of like featured background guns and some of the stuff that was in the armory and the pawn shop. Uh, and for that, they were all, um, there was nothing that was molder cast or vacuum metalized. Everything that we built for that was made out of steel or aluminum. It was all sculpted and welded. And there were like one-offs that I just saw one of them at an auction the other day. I would have liked to get money for that. But uh, needless to say, that uh, was a while ago, a long time ago. Men in Black was actually, what comes to mind, one of the coolest movies. That, that fun, good acting, and good, good story, and just entertaining. And... Um, uh, when I first started working on that, it was working with Howie Weed, who was the supervisor for some of the model shops. And there was some other stuff going on, like um, um, Steve Golly was heading up the, the, the saucer, you know. Um, he was doing the whole show, actually. Uh, but Howie worked on this part where the, I, thought, I think it was Mikey, or this head came apart and opened up. And uh, we were hired to make a, a little kind of a cockpit or a little spaceship part where we, the alien sits into. And so Rick Baker did the alien side, and we did two versions of the miniature, the head, and there's a larger version of the head, which was, oh, man, that thing was, I think, uh, um, it, it was a good, like, 10 feet tall. I mean, the, the head, we, we wanted to, they wanted to do a close-up version of the head of, of showing what was in there, and then Rick's studio did a close-up, bigger version of the puppet. And so... That had all these really intricate little model parts and little like machines and making sure you build the thing right to make it look like it was really working. And John Foreman made a really great little monitor that actually had it was you know L LCD was really working. And and he just he, he wanted to put some TV show on, but they go no, we just want snow on there. So like it was it was dying, it was going out, you know. But it was this incredible piece, you know. And that was one of the projects that. I worked on that was really neat to see, and it really came together because the small version really blended nicely with with the new version. Now I think that whole model, the large scale model, I think it's at Rick Studio, uh, displaying with his with this alien. But that was really proud of uh, of that that whole effect because that was a really neat model that people remember, and it was it was a great great movie, and it was kind of an iconic scene when that thing opens up. It was really neat. And then the other scene was it was one of the couple of them when the spaceship was going down. I worked on the, the saucer. The, it was it wasn't this big. It was the, a lot bigger scale of the saucer flying into the ground. It was it was it crashed through the uh, that uh, statue. It was a yeah, sculpture of a world, and then it um, went to the ground. And so that was actually a big giant turn, uh, plaster turn. Uh, it was it was a you, basically you you take a technique of taking a shape that you want and you do a sweep. It's called a sweep, and sweeping plaster going all the way around to make a whole uh, shape that you want of whatever you're making. And that was the basic shape that we did in the very beginning. And that was like uh, a couple guys worked on that, and then we got that, and then we started building texture and, um, and and detail on top of that, and then we did both sides, and after that was molded and casted, and then you had a, a spaceship that was, you know, you put together two pieces, and then they shot it, and so basically that was really neat to be able to work on a spaceship that was going to have a pretty neat scene. I mean, the whole that whole scene was really effective. It crashed through that, and Tom Lee Jones and Will Smith was standing there, not budging, and you see that thing coming, 
you know, and when they shot it, it looked, it looked fantastic, you know. And then when it crashed into the, and they, they did not even budge. The whole scene, I remember we saw the dailies of that. And this is going to be cool. This, this, they're all this wind going through it, they're just standing there, and this thing is like huge, and they're not budging, you know. And uh, it actually just stops right in front of them, and it, it looks massive. I mean, it's, it's fantastic. And it's kind of neat to be part of that one, because that was a really neat, effective scene, yeah. That was great.